What's up guys, welcome to a new video where today we're actually going to be talking about the latest features of the macOS update, which is Catalina. And I figured the best way to do that was to actually go to Catalina. So we're here. I just got off of that boat behind me. It was a very, very, very rocky boat right over here. But Catalina is actually located 22 miles off the coast of Southern California. And we're here and we're gonna talk about some features. Justine is renting a golf cart, which has nothing to do with what's gonna be happening, but it's gonna make it way more fun. This video is actually sponsored by Clean My Mac X. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. We will get to that later. But first, coffee and the golf cart. Hello? Where do I go? <laughs> the backpack is. Figure it out. Justine picked me up in the whip. That's Justine. Justine. So we got this. Now we get the coffee. <laughs> small feature but one that I'm actually really excited about is the new dynamic desktop so basically right now you guys can see let me close this out you can see the Catalina desktop I have it set to dynamic which means that it will change throughout the day depending on the time of day so right now it is daylight so we have daylight Catalina but as we go throughout the day this will actually change so I will show you right now kind of what it will look like. But if I change it to the light, as you guys can see here, this is the light. And then later on, when it gets dark, it will be the dark. But right now, I'm gonna put it back to dynamic and we will see how this changes throughout the day. So something that I will always install right away on my Mac or my MacBook is Clean My Mac. And the latest version of that is Clean My Mac X. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick little demonstration before we get back to Catalina. So up here, I already have it installed. So as you guys can see, I have 198 gigs available. I have some stuff in my trash. I did do this before I installed Catalina because Catalina actually uses about 30 gigs, which is a lot. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. We will just hit scan and it will scan my Mac for any unnecessary or old files that are just taking up space and not contributing at all. So Catalina actually won't be supporting any 32-bit applications anymore. So with Clean My Mac X, it will automatically detect any of those applications and go ahead and just delete them for you. Therefore, allowing you to have more space. Oh my gosh, okay, here's what it's found. It has 2.73 gigs of cleanup that I can get rid of. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that and let it get rid of that so that I can have more space. I actually really like this app because it's really well designed and it has a very Apple look to it. So it is supported by Apple. And on average, it usually will remove around 31 gigs of junk from your computer that's just sitting there not doing anything. It says, well done, your Mac is in great shape. It got rid of 2.7 gigs. It has done three tasks. It said that there are no potential threats found. That's a great report, thank you. There'll be a link in the description if you guys wanna check out Clean My Mac X. You can get a free trial, so more information down below. But right now, we're gonna go explore Catalina and explore Catalina. So with the Catalina update, we actually do not have iTunes anymore. But instead of that, we now have a podcast app, Apple TV app, as well as a music app. So here we have the music app separately. It still has the old iTunes logo though. So as you guys can see, you can have your Apple Music, you can have your library and the iTunes store. We also have the Apple TV app, which I'm very excited about. I use Apple TV basically for everything. If I'm watching content on my TV, it's through the Apple TV. So now that there's its own separate app on here, I'm very excited about that. On the boat ride over here, I opened up Apple Arcade. I have been using Apple Arcade on my phone as well as my Apple TV, but I figured that since I can actually now use it on my computer as well, why not? Very, very bumpy ride today. We are cruising. Probably not gonna play my game right now because I think I might get seasick. So I was playing Skate City, but then I got really seasick. So I put that away. But the fact that you can use Apple Arcade on your MacBook, 
I'm in. Another new feature is Find My. Now, in my previous phone, in the previous iOS version, I would use Find My Friends to always find my friends, find my parents, find whoever I need to find. But now it is just Find My, which combines your friends as well as your other devices. And now with Catalina, it can actually be on your computer as well. You know what else Catalina has? Sidecar. Another cool feature of the Catalina as well as the iPad OS is that you can now use Sidecar. So Sidecar is basically where you can use an iPad as a second display. Now I know this will be really good for artists and people who are really good at multitasking. I am not an artist. Considering you can't draw on the MacBook Air on the screen, but you can draw on this. A lot of people will use it for that. But something that I can find useful is using it as a second display for editing. So up here is the AirPlay. Basically you have to make sure that you're connected to the same Apple ID account. So the Sidecar is set up and the iPad is basically going to be my preview screen for my timeline over here. So as you guys can see, I'm dragging my timeline and this without lag is showing me what's happening in my timeline. I don't know how realistic this is for me to use, but I like options and there wasn't any lag, so that's amazing. There's some parties happening. Maybe I'll go join the party. So Catalina also ramps up the security and gatekeeper. Another feature that I always use is for my Apple Watch to unlock my computer. But now my Apple Watch can actually do a lot more than just unlock my computer. But there's also an option where you can improve security prompts by tapping on the side button. You're also now able to see screen time, which I think is always a very dangerous thing for me. But usually if I'm on my computer, I'm probably working, whereas on my phone, I'm on social media apps. But here you can see the screen time. So that's a good way if you have children, you can monitor what they're doing, or if you're just trying to have better self-control for yourself. There's also a new accessibility feature that allows voice control. So you can control your Mac just from your voice and from using Siri. So in the accessibility, there is an option where it says enable voice control. So in the settings, you can then go to accessibility, scroll down to voice control, tap enable voice control, and then a microphone will then pop up on the screen and be listening for commands. This is when I could say something like open final cut and final cut will then just open. There's also a section where you can click and see the different commands that are available. And I'm also pretty sure that you can make custom commands as well. So it is 4.41 right now and we still have the daylight Catalina, but sunset is going to be really soon, so we got to get ready for that. We are now at dinner before sunset and you guys aren't going to believe this, but it just changed right before our eyes. But I think the next time it changes, it's going to be the nighttime shot. So I have to eat really fast and then get out there or else I'm going to miss it again. But first, chips and salsa! Well, we ate them all. Well, as you guys can see, it is now dark out here in Catalina. I wanted to get a time lapse of the desktop changing from the evening to the night mode, which I think I got. But the problem is I was doing that earlier and a bird pooped on my computer. It also pooped on my sister, so I had to move it a little bit. But I think we ended up getting the shot. So that's gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my updates on the Mac OS Catalina. I had the best day here. It was absolutely incredible. Make sure you guys check out a link in the description so you can get a free trial of Clean My Mac X. And thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I gotta go get on the boat.